Oh, hey, how's it going? Friendly. Friendly, don't hey, shoot. Buddy. Oh, thanks yeah, for not shooting me. Talking. I figured you're doing a video or something. Yep, I'm live streaming. My name is Missionary Gamer. I stream on Twitch. It's very nice to meet you. Hi. You look like you're well decked out. You've been uh, hitting the bases there. I've got, well, I don't have any food, but I got water. And there's some uh, equipment here. Uh, yeah, I'm all, I'm all good. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, you're good. It, you could have taken me out a bit ago, obviously. So. Do you need Nothing anything? Uh, I think I'm okay for the... I'm all in the white for right now, which I'm pretty thankful for. Hey, but I do have a question. If it's okay to ask, what's your first name? My name is Peter. Oh, I'm Uku. Now, is that actually your name uh -huh. or is that like a gamer name? Nope, that's my, that's my actual name. I'm, uh, I'm Turkish. I'm curious if it's okay to ask. Uh, being from Turkey, but now in the U.S., what do you think happens when we die? And not in a game, but in the real world. I don't know. I think uh, I think no one really knows. I think that uh, I don't know. Maybe you uh, go somewhere different. So I'm curious if it's okay to ask. Do you consider yourself to be a good person? Uh, no. Oh wow! Right off the bat, we here you are. We just met. You didn't shoot me, so obviously, you know. As far as Day Z goes, you're a pretty nice guy, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so in your lifetime, how many lies do you think you've told? Uh, probably a lot. So what do you call someone who's told a lot of lies? I, I guess a liar. You're exactly right. It would be a liar. So Uku, what would that make you then? Uh, a liar. Exactly. All right. So in your lifetime, have you ever stolen anything, even if it was small, regardless of its value? Yes. So what would that make you then? A lying thief. Ooh, you know, most people don't catch that. See, you're sharp. Most people just say thief. They don't realize these things add together. And so that that's sharp. I'm impressed. In your lifetime, have you ever used God's name as a cuss word? Ever ever said a blasphemy? Uh, God's name as a cuss word? How would that, how would that work? Like, like, like using, yeah, like, that would be a good example. We'll assume that's a yes. So last question. I appreciate your honesty. There's a person, maybe you heard of him. His name was Jesus Christ. He said, you've heard it said of old that you shouldn't commit adultery. But I tell you, even if you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at another person with lust? I, I, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to summarize, and here's the here's the reality. You're right in your first assessment. You said you really weren't a good person. You're, a, you're actually right on the money. You're just like the rest of us. In fact, we just met. This is not me judging you, but you've admitted to being a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterate at heart. So let's say, just for argument point, today was the day that you died, not in the game, but in the real world. And you stand before God. And he opens up the books in your whole life. Is he going to find you innocent or guilty of breaking his laws? I don't know. Only he could know. Well, you've already confessed, right? And he says all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. That makes sense? Okay, we got a head nod. All right, very nice. If you died today and God gave you justice, he would find you guilty, just like he'd find us all guilty, because we've all sinned. We all deserve the wrath to come. And he would send you to a terrible place called hell. And so the question is, does that reality of, of the wrath of God, that we've earned it, Uku, does that concern you at all? No, because I don't believe in God in that, in that kind of way. Well, I, I know you don't, but... Let's say that what you believe is wrong. Let's say that what he's told us about himself is true. Understanding that God and the reality of what he's told us about himself, not what, what we would hope he is, but what he's actually told us he is. But he actually has told us more than that. He's told us something called the gospel. Have you ever heard of that before? No, I don't listen to rap. The gospel actually means good news. And it's the good news about what God has done for guilty sinners like you and I, so we don't have to go to hell. Would it be okay if I shared it with you? You got a minute? Sure. 2,000 years ago, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be born here on earth miraculously from a virgin. He lived a perfect life. He never sinned. He did everything that was pleasing in the eyes of his father. And then he went to the cross as an innocent man because he claimed to be God. While he was on the cross, he didn't just die. He actually took the wrath of God for our sins, for every sin we've ever done, 
and every sin we ever will do. And then right before he died, he said three very profound words. He said, it is finished. He means the debt is paid. It was actually a legal statement. And then he died and he was buried in a tomb for three days. Do you happen to know what happened after those three days? He woke up and hit the bars. He actually came back from the dead. It wasn't a wake up. He wasn't asleep. He was flat out dead. They stabbed him with a spear. Water and blood came out of him. And they put him in a tomb because he was dead, where he stayed for three days dead. And then he brought himself back from the dead, proving that he was who he said he was. He was God, because only God can bring himself back from the dead. He was seen by his disciples, and then he ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. See, if you repent of your sins, that is to forsake them, and you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you will be saved from the wrath that you've earned because justice has been served by your debt being paid for, not by you, but by Jesus Christ on the cross 2,000 years ago. And you can be welcomed into heaven, not because you deserve it, but because you've been forgiven. You're actually given the very righteousness of Jesus Christ himself, that righteous life he led. He gives it to you, and he takes your sin upon himself. Do you think this is true, or do you think it's a lie? I think it's fabricated to an extent. I do believe in the existence of Jesus and some of the things he's done, but I don't think his teachings are at all what is taught radically today. I would encourage you, read the book of John. Find out for yourself who this Jesus is, what he actually said, what he actually did, and determine for yourself if this is true or not. I don't think Jesus is divine in the way that you do. I've explored a lot of the Bible in various religious texts. Um, a lot of them, especially the Bible, a lot of the stories come from actually older religions, and they're just kind of adapted and different, like the. That is the that is a religion. very popular that is a very popular uh, misrepresentation of the, of the Word of God. I understand where you got that, um, but it's actually not true. Uh, the Bible is in fact the inspired revelation of God Himself that He wrote through men who he moved by his spirit so that we could have his truth, so we can know what the truth is. Utku, so do you just preach in Daisy? Is that why you play the game? That's why I play the game. I'm a missionary to gamers. I appreciate how gracious you've been to me. Thank you very much, Utku. I really appreciate it. Heavenly Father, I am grateful for you answering uh, my prayer today, that I have the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody. Utku has been very gracious and patient listening to the gospel. He has questions. He has, um, you know, real concern about the legitimacy of your word. And I understand how the world has, you know, propagated uh, those concerns. But yet, Father, you're able to cut through all of them. You're able to give him that gift of faith that he might repent and put that faith and trust in your son and be saved from the wrath to come. And I pray, Lord, that you would do this for Utku, that there may be a multitude beyond counting, praising your name for saving us from the wrath that we so deserve. And I pray all this in Jesus Christ's name, my King and Savior. Amen. I hope, uh, oh, there he is. All right. Thank you, Uku. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Take care. We're going to eat ourselves a piece of chicken because I haven't had me some chicken. Okay. Pop that out. Eat some chicken. Oh, goodness, really? I'm trying to do... Come on, man. I didn't do anything to you. That was not nice. Apparently, my bullet proved best to save me. By the grace of God, I did not die. We will move on to other digs.